Welcome everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Neha and I'm the Sales Executive at Varsalos. We are a marketplace for software and we help you select and implement the right software for your business. Varsalos currently specializes in ERP, HRMS, CRM and accounting software and have impaneled a wide range of best in class software products. The latest product to join our market, our marketplace in sales is three is Sage three hundred. Now, without any further ado, we'll turn the time over to Eldrana, our presenter for today. She's our principal lead consultant. She's also a certified HR professional with eighteen years of experience working in consulting across multiple industries, like oil and gas, aviation, technology, insurance, and banking sector. She's one of the. She's also one of the first. Trained HR consultant for Sage three hundred people. Hold on. Now. Thank you, Neha, for that lovely introduction. It's lovely to be speaking with all of you today. We are seeing the worlds of HR, payroll, and business management solutions move closer together. As companies adopt integrated systems to gain better control over their workforce costs and create stronger engagement with employees, so in this webinar we will be presenting Sage 300 People, the latest technology by Sage to UAE market to deliver exceptional business efficiency and value. It was originally developed in South Africa for South African market, but since then it has been adopted across other countries, including Singapore and Indonesia. Sage three hundred people has been designed specifically as a mid-market product using the intellectual capital gathered in this market segment for the past thirty years. So this software is an all-in-one software for payroll and HR. However, for this webinar, we will be focusing on payroll, employee database, lead management, and employee self-service. If you're interested in other software modules such as performance management, onboarding, etc., please let us know, and we can schedule a meeting to discuss this further. It's really a powerful software solution to manage diverse and complex HR solutions while ensuring legal compliance. The modules in the software can support complete employee lifecycle, right from recruitment through to separation. Companies have. One database giving better data consistency, reporting, and analytical capabilities across all their operations. It also integrates with other systems such as biometrics, time and attendance, ERP, etc. With a state-of-the-art smart design, it can complete implementations in a fraction of the time taken to install other systems of the same caliber. Overall, the value proposition from Sage is what they call the golden triangle. They focus on the three mission critical areas: accounting, payroll, HR, and payments related to that. We are focused on ensuring our solutions can be seamlessly integrated to automate workflow and the movement of money. Lastly, just an overall as to why Sage 300 people. The reason we have showcased Sage 300 people as the software to offer. Automate HR and increase productivity is really simple. It prevents waste of man hours managing data and records manually, or through multiple spreadsheets that are error prone as well as have little or no control. With this software, you can centralize data, share and access one database with the utility of more than hundreds of reports, which can be shared fairly easily. Additionally, the ASS available, which is the employee self service. Available on desktop and mobile apps, empower your employees to access information on the go and manages to make decisions, which ultimately leads to increased productivity and help grow your business. So we will now take a look at the software itself, and I'll give you a quick browse through the software and its functionality. So this. 
Excuse me. Whether there's a second while we can switch between the presentation and the system. Okay. So as you can see, this is the dashboard, which has all okay. So, yeah, as you can see, this is the dashboard which has all the uh, different modules on this side. So based on what you purchase, you would see all the modules available. And there are a few additional ones such as utilities, um, reports, security, et cetera. These are the facilitating tools that you would need as well. The navigation is very simple. If, we are, if I take you to the employee management, it expands and gives you an overview of the, the sub modules. If you are, you see the list of all the employees and you can see that you can have more than one company or you can have all the companies together and have a one central database. Based on what information you're looking for, you can browse through this sub module as well. And it will take you to another further detailed screen. Which gives you information about the employee, the basic information as well. And so as you can see, it contains a whole lot of data for the employee and it's easily split into separate screens and you, it's easy to navigate as well. So if we take Miss Mouse, her address, contacts, details, and personal information can be captured here. And her personnel information as well. When it goes to her contractual information, you can display it here. As you can see, date, there are two dates, date engaged and date joined. So if somebody has, uh, let's say, changed between companies, then you would have an original service date and um, an effective service date. This can also apply if somebody has moved countries. So the country of uh, would be here, and then for UAE would be here, and you could calculate your severance based on date engaged and have that information. It also gives you the opportunity, uh, the ability to classify the employee data based on which department and which location do they belong to in a very simple hierarchy. So that's the employee information as well. The navigation for it is, as I said, you can either pick the hierarchy, like you take a department that you're looking for, or you could um, start with just, if you know the employee code, you just go down to the employee code and enter that as well. If you have a look at the pay slip information where all the salary details, it's a very simple um, module. You can see all the earnings on the left-hand side and all the deductions on the right-hand side. And this is what the information will be used to calculate your payroll. This person now, GPSSA is if Miss Mouse was a UA national and was contributing to the pension, then she would have a deduction for pension. And if she had taken a housing loan um, based on uh, the company policy, then she would have an amount here as well. So you would see the total earnings and the net salary would differ based on the pension contribution. You can also find a 12 month history at the top with these tabs. So you could click on the 12 month history button and you would e easily get a full history of payments over here as well. You could even print a payslip just to show you how the payslip looks. And this we can modify based on your company template within your um, structure, put a logo, the company name, and where would you like the information to be. And you see you have the details, you have the pay periods, you have the actual earnings, the actual deductions, and the whole information provided. If you want to also find out the full salary and your management is asking for a quick information, if you just put that code in there, you're able to generate the year-to-date amounts and the total 
money spent on in for employee compensation out here. And you can print it and submit it, or you could export it as well. Now, if I show you the leave management setup, Over here, we put in all the different leave definitions or basically the leave type that the, the company has as part of their leave policy. And we are able to link the different leave to the employee either individually or at a group or company level as well. So that's the setup from a company perspective. Over here, you have the calculations. So some of the calculations that we do in terms of the, say for instance, you have over here the sick and the hajj, which is an unpaid leave. These are all pre-set up, so you are able to understand what the background is. There are some utilities as well over here where you could pick up information in batches. So you could upload, let's say you're hiring 10 employees or 20 employees, you can upload details in a bulk mode uh, just by clicking a report template and then populating the data and then creating 10 at the same time instead of creating one at a time. All the leaves that you saw that are preset are based on the UAE labor law and some other leave types that are general market practice, for instance, compassionate leave. Um, perhaps some people have overtime leave instead of paying overtime and um, unpaid leave as well. You can even have your public holiday set up over here. or your week pattern, so whether you want a 48 hours or a 40 hours and the number of days. In terms of reports, you can see that we have all different types of reports, right from um, your audit trails to getting custom reports if you want. Let's take an employee report. To illustrate. The report format. So over here you have a simple employee basic report which gives you birth dates and you are aware of all the birth dates in the <clears throat> company so you can use this information accordingly um, you can also export this as a pdf you can send them a different custom file type you can even watermark it to say it's a draft and so on, so until you have things confirmed. And you can also have a print or email it. And the email would depend on your uh, background setup. The back end for the employee service, self-service is also set up over here. Now I'd like to move into the self-service portal that you get as a desktop. You can also have it as a mobile app. So that gives you the ability to access information 
on the go. We're just waiting for the screen to open. So this is a simple sign up. Once you sign in, you get a very user friendly screen that gives you access to all the different modules. We're just waiting for it to open to get that. Sorry, we're just having some trouble with the, our Wi Fi connection. Since we have some uh, time, if there are any questions, please enter your questions here in the chat and we should be able to answer these questions at the end of the session. Just while this is setting up, let's just go back into the system and let me take you to the leave management from the employee side. So let's say um, you are taking in just the payroll and software, then you could also look at employee information out here. You would be able to see the different leave um, of op types that have been attached and linked to this employee. So this person has 22 working days because this um, setup is based on working days, but otherwise it could be calendar days and you would have it as 30. 
you can also have um, a system set up in terms of um, Hajj leave being applicable only to um, uh, Muslims, um, and this will not appear to the other employees as well, so we can do these sort of adjustments if required. Out here, you, if you had populated the public holidays, you would be able to see that as well. And all the leave transactions you would create over here. So this is in the absence of an employee being able to apply directly to ESS, which is the employee self-service. Let's see if it's opened up now. We seem to have some trouble with the web self-service on my side, but we're testing it on another screen and it seems to work. Sorry, that's a second. There we go. We've been successful. It's just taken a little time, and again, we apologize. So, if you see the home screen, If you see the home screen, this is what appears on the self-service side. You have the payslip that has been launched, the latest one. You have the tax certificates if you're operating in a tax country, but it doesn't apply for UAE, so this side would be blank. You would also see uh, Mr. Spielberg is a manager, so he also sees their claims as well as the ones that have been uh, applied for and the employees that are in his team and their birthdays. You can also see the different leave types that are there and you can select based on the which ones you need or you can see all of them. Over here, you would see your, you can apply to a leave or you can also see the balances that are available to you. These are just some standard names uh, from South Africa, which is there for demo purposes, but you would see over here the UAE leave type. And you can also apply from here and it will go into your leave application and you would be able to see what's available here as well. You can also claim, extend claims over time um, and so on. So over here, you would be able to find put in your claim. And some companies will, would like their employees to be able to view the personal details. And sometimes uh, some companies would be able to, would allow their company uh, employees to change their details. So for instance, if somebody was single and now is married and would like the personal details to be updated, that person can uh, use this self-service module to be able to update their details. But if you prefer that these sort of details um, are done in a different process where they would come and inform HR, then that can be done offline and all they have is access to view their information. Also, you could have another alternative of, to the system as well and you can put in the new details but to a workflow, it will go to an approval for acceptance as well. So that's an option too. Over here, I could show you some of the reports that are there in terms of the payslip. So you would see all the payslips over here. Managers can only view their uh, payslips, although they have a team to view because uh, of data confidentiality. So even if that person's a manager, all they can view is their own payslip, they're not being paid. Over here, in terms of reports, you could see a birthday list or some basic details about the employees and so on. These uh, reports will vary based on the modules you have purchased. 
So if you have uh, purchased things like uh, requesting for vacancies, then you will see those sort of reports as well. So in a nutshell, that is the employee self-service uh, module in conjunction with page three hundred control HR software, um, which forms the basis of this webinar. I thank you for your time and would like to take any questions if you have. Just before we uh, open for questions, I'd like to inform you that we have We have um, uh, received a new announcement from Sage. Um, they have a special discount for the month of September being the year end, which we would like you to benefit from. So if you would like us, you can schedule some meetings and have this uh, come around within the month and uh, we can pass on those benefits to you. Uh, they've also announced to us that come October, when their new financial year starts, they would have a different pricing structure, which would result in increase in some of the licensing costs. So I hand this over to your host, Neha, and we'll take some questions. Thank you for your time. Um, thank you, Alona, for a brief session. If you have any questions regarding page 300, you can, con you can post them right now, or we can have a one-to-one -one session after the webinar. We, we can give you a detailed demo on page 300. And I'll also be sending you the brochures for page 300 people, which will help you understand the product in more detail. Um, we haven't received any questions, so I think that's about it. Uh, we'll just wait for a minute in case you have any questions. Please post them here. Uh, or you can also get in touch with us after the webinar. I've also mentioned uh, our company website. I uh, had number to call the call, uh, call state 800 software or our office number. You can call any of our numbers to get in touch with us. We still do not have any questions. So I think we'll get an end with this. Thank you so much for your attendance. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Arana.